In this first episode, we'll be going over the 2002 Gaspar, Gaspiar, Gaspar No film, Irreversible. C'est prononcé irreversible en français. Wait, are you here at all hours? Well, of course. Emily lives here and so do we. Oh, by the way, have you ever heard yourself snoring? I have it on tape if you're interested. <laughs> no. No, thanks. All right, call me if you need me. I didn't call you to begin with. Events over the course of one traumatic night in Paris unfold in reverse chronological order, as the beautiful Alex is brutally raped and beaten by a stranger in the underpass. Her boyfriend and ex-lover take matters into their own hands by hiring two criminals to help them find the rapist so they can exact revenge. So Irreversible is infamous for quite a few reasons, amongst many being in the, in the first act alone and the big, the big thing about Irreversible doesn't even happen in the first act. No has been quoted as saying he put an unsettling audio cue for the first half an hour of film. Which registers at negative 28 hertz. If that doesn't get you, the cinematography is certainly a chore, to say the very least for that opening act, with, with constant just a constant rotation for the entire first act. If you're still with this film after the bombardment on your ears and eyes, oh, by the way, the things that are happening on the screen are just absolutely horrific. Brutal acts of violence combined with some rather extreme homophobia. So for those of you who think something like a scene out of Saw is just too much to take, now, now take that shot, spin it, and have some annoying sound play during it. Then tell me how unsettling that is. So now that you've made it past the first act, the camera finally starts to calm down and we start to figure out what's going on. The film is playing backwards, a la Memento. Um, what you're starting off with is basically the end, and we're going backwards in time to see how these events unfolded. We're following Vincent Cassell's character, who until now I thought only mimicked the entrapment dance. But apparently in France he was all about making snooty art house versions of Taken. The camera has calmed down now for about 10 minutes. You're, you're reaching the 45 minute mark of this film, which uh, anybody who watches the first half an hour of this film, you would think that surely now that the camera's calmed down that, that everything can certainly relax and we can kind of get to the story, which you do. <laughs> then comes the underpass scene which is the most uncomfortable, most disarming, just unsettling rape scene I've ever seen filmed. And when you contrast the fact that the camera is just constantly moving at a nauseating rate for that first act, um, what they do for this rape scene is even more unnerving. The camera just stays still. It almost seems as if the camera guy took a smoke break and laid the camera on the ground for a nearly 10 minute rape scene with no cuts. A long one shot rape scene that is very difficult to get through. All of this is done by the 56 minute mark, mind you. This movie is an hour and 47 minutes long. If you've made it past the rape scene, guess what? You're home free, I guess is the best thing to say to you. So why, why would somebody like this film? Um, there are, exploitation films and, and films that are that are gorgeous for the sake of being gore but i think tech this is, this is my opinion mind you technically speaking i think what is being done and the way it's presented in a, in a backward sort of nature um is to assist in what what's going on you're you're, you're very anxious you're very uneasy um that's portrayed perfectly with with the the camera work um, right down to the, the unsettling and still nature of the rape scene in the middle of the film. And then from there out, it's, it's this normal film, which I'm curious to see 
if anybody has a, an edit of this film backwards, where the beginning is the end and vice versa, where if you watch this backwards, if you would slowly get yourself amped up. It's also quite depressing and realistic to see just, just what happens when the efforts of justice uh, are missed, should I say. Basically, if you're queasy for, for anything I've said, like, like cinematography that, that's just out there and wacky, uh, audio cues that, that kind of make you anxious, rape scenes that are just, just unrelenting, um, this may not be your movie. Um, if you're watching this for those things, I, I really, I really want to know what type of entertainment you're getting out of this. This is a message movie. However, to, to stay in the country of France, if you want a similar message and, and a similar type film with, without all of this, this crazy infamy, may I suggest La Haine. <clears throat> C'est prononcé Len. What she said. So that's it. This is the first episode of Who Would Like That. Uh, this was irreversible. Do me a favor, comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this film. Have you heard of this film? Have you seen it? Will you not watch it? Reasons why? Also, if you have suggestions for some infamous movies that claim to have an artistic take, you know, don't send me, you know, Watch Faces of Death and tell us why why people sh should like that. Faces of Death is just, it's just. But yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe. Uh, click the bell to get notifications. Apparently that's becoming more of a thing lately. My Patreon info is down below. Otherwise, have a day. Hello one, hello all, I'm CP. Nope. Hello one. <laughs> hello one, hello all, I'm CP. Welcome to Will I Get... Will I Get... 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 C'est prononcé irreversible en français. Eh. Yeah. Oh, by the way, did anyone ever tell you that you are a very cute snorer? I have it on tape if you're curious. I love your Blu-ray collection, by the way. Oh, by the way, that shirt you're looking for? Uh, I'm using it as a pillowcase. Hope that's cool. No, when you're done, leave the frame empty for a little bit. Yeah, okay. I, know, I know how to teleport. I've done it before. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> the conversation we're having right now.